GLE Solar would like to thank you for your interest in the Evacuated Tube Batch Collectors. This video will show you how to install these unique collectors at ground level. When you remove the collector from the packaging, this is what you will see. An intact collector with no glass tubes. Since precise measurements may vary from one generation of the collectors to the next, the first task will be to take a measurement of the base of the unit. The collector will be mounted into place with 4x4 posts on either side and concrete pads beneath the two feet of the collector base. Careful measurements beforehand will guarantee that the mounting posts and the concrete pads are precisely where they need to be. Each GLE Solar Collector comes with four mounting brackets designed to connect the mounting post to the frame of the collector itself. As for the plumbing of the collector, there is a cold water inlet and a hot water outlet on the same side of the collector. There is also a 10K ohm thermistor built into the final tube in the collector. A threaded fitting must be installed on the cold water inlet and the hot water outlet. To do this, use two wrenches, one tw to twist the fitting on and the other as a support to handle the torque. Once the collector is connected to the rest of the system plumbing, it is time for the initial fill. It can take 10 to 15 minutes to purge all of the air from the system. GLE Solar recommends you follow this system diagram or one of the other designs we provide, but every system absolutely must include a pressure relief valve adjacent to the collector's hot water outlet. There must never be an isolation valve between the collector and the pressure relief valve. To place the glass tubes on the collector, remove the top railing. To do this, start by removing the end plates on either end of the top railing. On either end, a side bolt and a top screw connect the top railing to the side support post. Disconnect these and the top railing will come off. Each collector comes with two rubber seals for each glass tube. Take a rubber seal and place it at the top and bottom of each glass tube. Once this is completed, slide the glass tube over the stainless steel reservoir. Replace the top rail and maneuver each rubber seal snugly into position. The rubber seals secure the glass tubes into position so that they do not move and create any stress on the glass. And that is how you take a GLE solar collector from the packaging to an installed system.